Hi everyone, Comet Leonard continues to get a little bit brighter in the pre-dawn morning skies. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Well, you still can't see the comet with the naked eye, but I've been using the telescope, the Orion Eon 130 millimeter triplet, and I'm having no problem seeing the, the comet. This morning, the clouds were slowly increasing from the west. However, before they got here, I got some pictures of Comet Leonard. And this is about a 50 minute exposure. I have taken several two minute subframes and I stack them together in deep sky stack or using the comet stacking uh, routine. Now if you don't know how to do that or don't know anything about that, I do have a video I just made about how to stack comets using deep, deep sky stackers. So you know, take a look at that video if you want some more information. But anyway, uh, the comet is definitely getting a little bit brighter. Now, will it be as bright as Neowise back in 2020? Well, I don't think so because, you know, look at these pictures I took back uh, in July of 2020. Uh, I was able to see Neowise with no problem in the, the uh, northwestern evening sky. And this was in the twilight and this, the comet was very bright. Uh, you could even see it with the naked eye in the uh, darker areas away from the city. But uh, Leonard is not going to get that bright. However, this morning, uh, the magnitude was estimated at about 6.8. Eight. That's down from around 8.5 around five days ago. Now remember, the lower the number, the brighter the object. For example, uh, Polaris, the North Star, is about somewhere around two. Uh, Mars right now is about one. And uh, Jupiter is minus two. And Venus, which is just dazzling out in the southwestern sky, is at minus 4.7. Just to give you an idea, Neowise right now, not Neowise, but uh, Comet Leonard right now is about four or 6.8. Now, it is estimated that it might get down to as low as four around December 14th, 15th, thereabouts, when it passes the closest approach to the Earth. However, it will also be in the morning twilight and it might be very difficult to see, so keep that in mind. But uh, what I'm really looking forward to is this Friday morning, December 3rd, the uh, comet will be passing in front of the globular cluster M3. This is about 80,000 to 100,000 stars clustered together, and uh, this should make a, probably a great backdrop, and I'm hoping uh, to get images of that. And if I do, I'll make a, 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 a YouTube short uh, on that coming up on Friday afternoon, or if, if I get it done by then, perhaps Saturday morning. But anyway, I was able to find the comet in Stellarium and take the right ascension and the declination values from that. I was able to program it into Nina during the night and it started automatically at around 4.45 in the morning. However, I did get up to see if everything was going well, and sure enough, it was going very well. And the uh, uh, Nina captured several uh, images uh, and it went right into the morning twilight. But I was able to get about 50 minutes worth of data, so that's going to be good. The subframes were about two minutes each, and I was able to stack them in Deep Sky Stacker uh, using the Comet routine. Now, if you don't know about the Comet routine, my last video I just made about that, uh, right over here, you can see it up in this uh, corner, uh, how I was able to use the uh, Deep Sky Stacker and program the Comet using several subframes without getting the blurriness of the stars in the background or the comet moving as it moves across the uh, uh, well the sky in the background stars you know the comet is moving at about 96,000 miles per hour right now it is zipping right along and it's accelerating as it approaches the Sun it'll be getting even faster over the next several days but Remember, the heavens are filled with majestic glories. There's comets out there, like right now, Comet Leonard, and we have the, the planets in the western and southwestern skies right now. There's always the famous Orion Nebula and other nebulae throughout the skies. And of course, let's not forget about the globular clusters, M3 coming up, and the galaxies that continue to just dazzle the mind. Remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders just like the ones I just mentioned. And they're all in a sky near you. So get out and enjoy God's creation and look up and see what's out there. And unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone. <laughs>